dear learner in this lecture you will learn about complete staircase drawing okay so let's start to create a structural drawing now so a staircase we have to first need a point where our mid landing will be okay so let's say our mid landing will be at midpoint of our story one and gf so here we need a another level where we'll draw our mid landing so to draw mid landing uh i'll go here axis definition and from axis definition we'll go to z now here you have to understand about one thing that already some option is available here that is a story okay by using this option or this option we have created that so a story and a structural axis are not same this is the structural axis okay so if you create any structural axis that will be not visible here right so as our mid landing is not a structural axis that will be able to create our staircase land uh, level very easily using this option okay so to do it where will be place it between gf and s story one okay be between gf and s story one and uh its total height will be six six plus uh here okay simply click here for uh, sorry uh, this option will not work like this option when we click one two three you'll see the position but as this option is locked here so this will this option will not work so what will do actually our x structural axis will be six feet plus uh, our base to gf it's six feet then six feet plus half of our s one so total height of s one is 10 feet so six plus 10 total 11 feet i'll give you 11 feet and this number of repeat will be zero and simply click add see they have option uh grid name one and its value is 11 okay between 6 and 16 just simply click apply and close it so now you can see they have another option is one and and also you can change its name actually if you uh, go there if you come here z by clicking here you can change its name let's say uh, a staircase meet landing then click apply okay and close okay now what we'll do i'll go to plan view and in our plan view i'll go to here see this is the staircase level now we'll start drawing our landing here so to uh, to create drawing first of all i will okay i'll save it now i'll go floor and from here they have a thickness five inch i will create another new thickness okay a staircase slab that's a six inch thickness six in and everything will be same and from here i will change it concrete to 3.5 click add and close so if i click here you'll see a new slab thickness is available here okay now must click that option first horizontal slab here we'll create a horizontal slab first and they have four options contour and rectangle so as we are going to create a, a staircase uh, a slab of rectangle then we can use this option but here i'll show in geometry but here i will use contour option to do it okay 
because this option will help me to draw it very perfectly because this option is not visible to me that's why this will be very helpful for me okay uh, in this grid say they have a grid and uh, this option is not visible to me so where our first point will be our first point will be here then our second point will be here then where our third point will be remember that after uh, in the level of point two this is the value of our point two the so first value representing the value of x second value are representing the value of y and third value are representing the value of z direction so as i am coming in that direction in left side of this point so i need to change the value of x okay and if i move in that direction you will see the value of x are decreasing see value of uh, x are decreasing only so what i will do i need i'll click here and this value and this value will be same except this value x value of x so i'll change this value so total here 25.5 that means our mm, x value is now at 25.5 coordinate now i will take a landing of three feet okay landing of three feet here as per our floor plan i'll take a landing of three feet i'll so what will be the value now so 25.5 minus 3 that means 22 i'll give a 22.00 and click add and you'll uh sorry maybe uh some value have changed yes value of this value have changed okay this value have changed so what we'll do i'll select and this value will be 3 3 same as this value 3 3 i'll give 3 3 and this value will be 25.5 and click modify and you'll see this value have changed and here is your point clear again if you need to change it if you need to change it simply give it zero and click modify let's say this changed so for this point if you come here you'll see from every side we are getting the intersection point just simply click here and you will see our that point is visible here okay and this value is same this value is same only the value of oi have changed then click apply and our seller will be available here right now we'll go for next step we'll draw a slab in that side at our okay first of all we'll draw at base here and top floor so to do it to do it i will follow the same process already have done i will use contour then i'll click here i'll click here and sorry and then i'll come here so this is the point of uh 11.58 remember that this point is 11.58 and we will go for three feet we'll go for three feet in that side three feet only so if we go for three feet what will be 11.58 and now here we have to change the value of x so 11.3 feet plus 3 that means our value will be 14.58 because here 11. Point, sorry 11.5 bit value is available here and we'll add 3 feet with it so our total value will be 11. Point, uh, uh, 14.58 okay so simply i will click on this one and here i'll add 3 here so 11 plus 3 4 and click add and see this is our point now i'll go in this direction here in this direction our all value will be same except 
our value of y okay so only value of uh y will be changed now okay so how we'll do it i'll take this point and i'll take this point and only value of y will change so what will be the value of y same as this value because this is our first point so uh, this will be parallel to first point so i'll just click here here and our value of y will be 19.8383 and click add see here and click apply slab is available here i'll close it i'll close it and if i go to 3d see here we have a slab panel and here we have a slab panel. now we need another slab panel here simply we can copy it okay so to copy it i'll select that element then go to gf because from gf we are going to replicate from gf and by clicking here copy content of the story where above in above story actually number of one then click okay our panel slab is available here now now we are ready to draw our landing so we're going to do it i will click here to hide the bottom element click here then bottom element will be deleted here this is our first element and i'll go to view display then members sorry panels and from here uh, panel thickness okay no need to do anything now so now what we'll do i will start drawing or going so with respect to this panel to this panel first of all i'll go for top on to do it i'll go to i'll click here i'll go to top on okay and we'll use the I'll object I'll stop this option to find out the actual values or actual element now here our this side going will be here to do it now uh, here ss6 and must it will be contour and remember now horizontal slab option will be unchecked I'll click here then click here then click here and click on middle here and click apply done now again i'll click here i'll click here and go to the bottom story click this point and middle of this point apply done okay now uh, to see that it's uh, okay or not i'll click here and uncheck this option see done we are absolutely done to draw our staircase okay so this is the way to uh, create our staircase i hope uh, you'll be create you'll be able to create any types of staircase as per your requirement in this way so thank you thank you very much in our next lecture we'll complete assigning our all types of loads on our structure then we'll replicate and go for structural analysis and design